everyone, happy Tuesday. Hope you're enjoying your Tuesday so far. And today I'm going to be doing another vlog video. This is kind of like my other vlog video where I was talking about my favourite video games, but this will be talking about my favourite movies that I love and adore. Um, hopefully you can all hear me very, very well because I know my microphone on this phone is very rubbish and shit. I had someone complain on my video yesterday because I was doing ASMR. Yesterday I did an ASMR video and I had people complaining about the sound quality on my videos. But I'm, I, I do apologise if you can't if you can't hear me very well. But I can't buy. I don't have an additional mic, and I can't buy an additional mic because I don't have the money to buy an additional mic. And the only mic I use is the one I use on my phone at the minute, and that is absolutely shit. My phone mic is absolutely shit on this phone, and I can't. I do apologise to that person if you couldn't hear me very well. You either have to turn the volume really, really up. All the way up so you can hear me properly or you either wear earphones that's a simple solution because there's nothing I can do about the sound on my actual videos I do apologize if you can't hear me very well but hopefully you can hear me very well on this video because I'm talking I'm talking really loud and it always seems to me that there's always one person or several other people complaining about something or nothing on my videos and it really annoys me that tall like I would just like you to I just really want people to support me and watch my videos and enjoy them I do try my best with the sound I try my best with everything so that it's perfect um so I apologize if you couldn't hear me on very well on my ASMR video but it's either you don't have your sound all the way up you're not wearing earphones or you just can't you just simply deaf and you can't hear my video which is really annoying because you should be able to and I can't get another addition I can't get it. if you're expecting me to get an ASMR, an ASMR mic or an additional mic um, to use for my videos then I apologize I can't get one so you're going to have to just deal with what I have um, I'm just really sick of people complaining on about my. It's if it's not the sound, it's something else in my video, and I'm keep getting a lot of haters on my channel lately over like stupid things. Like I got a hate comment yesterday from somebody, and it really annoys me the hate I'm getting on my channel. Obviously, I don't really care about it now. You know, it's been and gone, and. I just want to sort of enjoy doing my videos and have fun and if you hold a grudge against me or you don't watch my videos then don't watch my videos. I'm not going to keep saying it over and over again and repeat myself because I know people are sick of me mentioning it but please just give me a break and cut me some slack and just watch my videos and support me, right? Thank you anyway. So today I'm going to be talking about my um, favourite movies um, and I'm going to be talking about my five favourite movies on this video or maybe four or three depending on how long I can sort of how long I can sort of talk on in this video until until I end it. Um, so today so Anyway, um, so my first film, my first favourite film, my first favourite film of my films, my favourite films, is going to be the first ever Spider-Man movie, the first ever original Spider-Man movie. Um, now, the first ever original Spider-Man movie was out it came out in 2002 and 2002 was a great year because Resident Evil Remake came out in that year as well. Um, it's always been my favourite movie of all time. Um, I, I remember when it first came out and the first time I watched it was on video 
Um, I know everybody says after one and two, um, after Spider Man, the original Spider Man one and two, after that, it's all rubbish. Like they say that three, Spider Man three is rubbish. I actually disagree because I actually like um, Spider Man three, the original Spider Man three. Um, and I know it was, it's not the same as the other two, but obviously, if you haven't seen. Spider Man 3, obviously, in the end, Harry dies. I know I shouldn't say that, it's spoiler alert, but if you have, it's been out for almost a year anyway. And um, I remember, I remember watching Spider Man 3 when it came out in the cinemas, and I cried like a baby when um, Harry sort of died at the end. It was very, it's a very sad scene. I always cry in films, I don't know why. Um, I cried at Despicable Me. First ever despicable me when the little girls get taken away from Groom. I cried so bad and I was I watched it in cinemas in 3D, um, which is really awesome. And um, I cried like a bitch at Toy Story 3 when the toys are waving goodbye to Andy. It's really sad. Um, I always try and avoid the ending of Toy Story 3 because it makes me tear up. So. I do cry a lot at films in general. I know there's a lot of sad films out there, so. Um, but yeah, I do love it. Um, obviously, Spider Man is my favourite superhero of all time, so that's why I like Spider Man. Um, and anything to do with superheroes, I love anything to do with superheroes, any films to do with superheroes. Um, and obviously when I first started Google, my first ever picture of my first ever picture on Google Plus was Spider Man. Um it wasn't like the original Spider Man picture, it was like kinda of like the amazing Spider Man picture. But it was this picture I always had and Jeff, my good friend Jeff who I've known on there for like a really long time now, I've known him for years on Google Plus. He kind of didn't know if I was a girl or a boy. Obviously, I was a girl, but he didn't know until he saw a proper picture of me because I didn't have a proper picture of me on my Google Plus because I had a picture of Spider Man because he's my favourite superhero. Um, obviously, my two favourite scenes from the original Spider Man because it's a brilliant movie is obviously the Spider Man kiss. Um, I love the Spider Man kiss. Um, um, and also the climbing up the wall scene because I love the I love the art of the like climbing up when he first gets his powers and he in in the new Spider Man movies he tends to make up the web himself he doesn't actually have the web shooting out of his hand which is kind of cool in the original that's why I prefer the original Spider Man to the newest ones um I mean I did see the Amazing Spider Man one and. I did enjoy it, but then I, when I watched Amazing Spider-Man 2, I thought, what the fuck? So, I do like the original Spider-Man because he doesn't make the web up. He sort of shoots it out of his hands, which is kind of cool. That's how Spider-Man should be. The, anyway, the original Spider-Man. Anyway, and obviously, I love when he climbs up the wall and he's jumping from roof to, from the rooftop to the rooftop. And obviously, he's trying to fly it, fly it, fly it from the actual roof and he ends up banging into a billboard and then he sort of gets used to it as he goes along in the film um, and obviously I love the original Spider-Man because I love the actors in the original Spider-Man obviously the Spider-Man in the original one was Tobey Maguire brilliant actor I love anyone that plays Spider-Man but I don't like the new Spider-Man at the minute which is Tom Holland because I think he's a bit of a kid and I don't think he should be Spider-Man but that's my opinion uh, I know a lot of people think, oh, Tom Holland's just so cute and he's really c cool. I mean, he is cute, I suppose. I mean, he's cool, but I don't think he should be portraying Spider-Man, in my opinion. I actually prefer, like, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. They were, like, my two favourite Spider-Mans in the history. Um, I know not a lot of people, like, don't know who these people are, but... so Well, they know who Tobey Maguire is, but... I don't know if anyone knows who Andrew Garfield is, but he's, he's kind of caught it anyway. But I will find the original Spider-Man for you, so you can see. Um, 
you can see it. I actually had the um, Spider-Man movie, the original Spider-Man movie on um, video at the time because I didn't watch it in the cinemas and I waited till it came out on video or DVD and, and then Spider-Man 2 I, I had, I got on DVD when it came out and um, that's a brilliant, all the Spider-Mans, all the original Spider-Mans are brilliant in some respect. But yeah, this is what the original Spider-Man should be looking like. And why the fucking hell? This is what the original Spider-Man should look like. The cover of it should, anyway. I had it on video, I should know. I had it on video when it came out and I absolutely enjoyed the movie. Um, obviously, I love the music at the end of the movie, obviously. This um the end music at the end of Spider Man, the original Spider Man was Nickelback Hero, and that's how I that's how I liked Nickelback and how Nickelback became my favorite band of all time because I listened to their song Hero at the end of the Spider Man movie and I absolutely adored them. And also when I was back in high school, a friend of mine um used to listen to Nickelback quite a lot. It, she used to listen to like um, rock star and how you remind me and I started to get into Nickelback that way as well so I do they are my favorite band of all time I think I've mentioned this um, so that's my first favorite film um, my second favorite film of all time um, is probably the Avengers I know I'm mentioning a lot of superhero films but um, my second favourite film is obviously the first ever Avengers, which is Avengers Assemble. Um, I loved every inch of that film, obviously, because, as you know, Tom Hiddleston, who plays Loki, is my favourite actor of all time. I absolutely adore him. Literally, I do. I really want to meet him one day. I really want to meet him one day in the flesh, Tom Hiddleston, because he's so gorgeous. And I just want to hug him and, like, everything. But I'm obsessed, yes. Um, obviously, it was such a great film, every inch of it. Um, I, as I said, I'm really into like superhero films. I love everything about it. Um, Avengers. And obviously, if you haven't seen the Avengers Assemble, it's basically about is it four or five heroes who actually go into battle together as one team and they start to fight like they start to fight um enemies and stuff like that and obviously in the first one they're trying to fight Loki who is four who is four's brother from the four films and Loki what it gets a hold of the Tesseract and tries to use it for his own devices. Um, and the Tesseract is a powered, powerful device which basically Fury, Nick Fury is going to use to make bionic weapons. Um, but if you, you haven't seen it, that's just a bit of the storyline, as you, as you know. Obviously, go, obviously um, Avengers Assemble goes back to the comics as well as the actual films. So it was a comic before the Avengers films were actually comics before they like were actually films, and that's like every single film, superhero film, there were comics before there were films. But this is what it should look like. And you've got in Avengers Assemble, you have Iron Man, Hawkeye, Black Widow, Nick Fury, Captain America, Thor, and um, Hulk. You also have Agent Coulson as well, and like all the um, the agents. Um, obviously, um, Thor is played by Chris Hemsworth. Um, you've got Loki as well. He's played Loki is Tom Hiddleston. Black Widow is um, Scarlett Johansson. Captain America is Chris Evans. Um, 
Iron Man is Robert Downey Jr. Hawker is Jeremy Renner and Hulk is Mark um, Mark Ruffalo. So they're all the actors from the actual Avengers. And well, it's a brilliant film. I've seen one and I've seen two. I haven't and I haven't seen three yet. I'm looking forward to watching three. I haven't seen Avengers Infinity. I know a lot of people have ruined Avengers Infinity for me, and that kind of sucks. So yeah, that's one of my other favourite films of all time. Um, I'd say my favourite bit in the film is when obviously Thor is trying to consult Loki on top of the mountain and he says, you listen well brother, and then he flies off because of Iron Man and he says, I'm listening. Uh, and obviously I love the scene when I am Robert John Jr. is played by Iron Man and it plays Iron Man and Thor are in the forest and they're saying, he goes, you don't realise what you, who you're dealing with. And then he says, Shakespeare in the park? Does Mother know you were for drips? It's like, this is beyond you, metal man. And then he goes, uh, but he talks about Loki and then he says, but don't touch my stuff. And I just love it. I love Robert Downey Jr. He's a very funny guy. Um, I love the Iron Man films. He makes me laugh. I wouldn't say I'm attracted to him. In any way, he is a handsome guy, but I'm not attracted to him. I say my favourite superhero of all time has to be Spider-Man. Um, I like Captain America as well, obviously from Avengers. He was my second favourite hero choice. Um, Chris Hemsworth is actually... a very attractive guy looking at him is is very strong and muscly i like tom hiddleston as well i'm attracted to him he plays Loki in the avengers films and stuff and what and the four films um, and actually he's the main villain in the avengers the first ever avengers that's why i like it so much because he's the main enemy in the first ever avengers but it's one of my favorite films of all time so that's my second favourite film of all time. Um, my third film, favourite film of all time, and this is actually a horror film now. Um, so if you're actually into a lot of horror films, then I advise you to go watch this in cinemas. Because, Well, not in cinemas, but I advise you to go watch it. Because it should already be out in, like, say, it should be on Netflix or Prime if you want to watch it. Um, it's a brilliant film. I watched it in cinemas with my mum. Um, it's called Annabelle Creation. Um, obviously, Annabelle Creation is a horror film. I don't. I don't want to give too much spoilers out because I know not a lot of people have seen Annabelle Creation, and I think when I mentioned it on. Um, my stream one time, Ralph was asking me, is it any good, is Annabelle Creation any good of a film? But Annabelle Creation is actually about the doll Annabelle from the Conjuring, well not from the Conjuring because Conjuring is different, um, but the Annabelle doll is actually from some of the Conjuring films I think and from some of the Annabelle films because there is actually a first one of Annabelle. Um, obviously, Annabelle Creation is based upon the doll, the real life doll, Annabelle. Uh, I think I've spoke a bit about the real doll, Annabelle. Annabelle is a doll who you, is actually perceived as a scary looking doll in the films, but is actually a rag doll. And it, the doll had, a demon, had an evil spirit or something inside of the doll within. And it turned into this evil doll and it basically um, was owned by this family. Um, but obviously the Annabelle doll is very creepy. Um, um, just looking at the doll now just gives me the creeps. But... She's a very scary doll. She, looking at Annabelle from my perception, she looks really freaky and scary. She looks very old, and she's got put. She's got two pigtails in her hair, and the doll looks plastic-like and 
very creepy. Um, I try. I think I've shown a picture of the real, of the not the real life doll. I think I've shown a picture of the real life doll and the scary looking doll from Annabelle and the other films. But this is Annabelle Creations cover. That's the doll, Annabelle. Um, and the first time I ever saw this, it was in cinemas. I don't want to say too much about the actual st I mean, storyline because I want people to watch the film. Um, but I have to say the creepiest thing in the film was the doll. And um, there is a certain scene that creeps me out in that scene. In that... Um, in that film, like the doll, just it's just so creepy. And um, obviously, it's based upon the re the the actual storyline of Annabelle is actually based upon the real life rag doll who was bought by a family who they owned. She was a rag doll, and she was possessed by an evil spirit inside. The doll was possessed, and um, it scratched them and did everything. And the woman, the um, what are they called now? Fucking hell. Um, the two investigators, I think, who um, are... Let me find out. I'd have to go on. Um, I've forgotten the names now, you know. I've talked a bit about the real life Annabelle doll, so you could should you could kind of get that. Um, she is, I think, in one of the Conjuring films. That I'm not sure, to be honest. There is actually a first ever Annabelle movie, and then there's Annabelle Creation, which was the second one that I watched. I've never seen the first one. Um. But Ed and Lorraine Warren, exactly, so I was right with the Warren thing then. Ed and Lorraine Warren, who are investigators, took the doll away. Basically got a priest in to sort of, you know, bless the doll and basically take the evil spirit out. Obviously the evil spirit was still in the doll. And Ed and Lorraine Warren took the doll away and have now locked it away in a museum somewhere in America. I thought it was in London somewhere, but it's actually somewhere in America. So you can actually go and see the doll itself, but it it has like a little notice on the um, glass because it's in a glass casket. And they actually, I actually saw a video recently of the doll being moved into a different casket and they had to like wear gloves so that the doll didn't scratch them. And on this been a lot of stories behind the real life Annabelle doll but basically Animal Creation is based upon that and it's based upon another, uh, based upon a girl who died uh, based upon um um it's based upon a girl as well to do with the doll um but I'm not gonna say too much about Animal Creation because you'd have to watch it but the creepiest thing in the film I have to say from my perspective is the is the the creepy ass doll that looks freaky as fuck and also there is a song called you are my sunshine i don't know who it's by but it's actually in the animal creation film um and it's quite creepy because there is a record player in the film that constantly plays you are my sunshine and it's fucking creepy and it's a, it's a bit like Layers of Fear, that's what it reminded me of when I watched it. Like the, the record player keep playing the song over and over again. And it does that thing as well when you, you know, when you get those like old fashioned record players. You know those, um, oh, I forget what they're called, but it's a record player and you've got them on CDs. Vinyl, that's it. The vinyl records. So basically it's a vinyl record and like a record thing and it does that thing as well, it goes um, You are my... Uh, uh, it does that all the time as well in the film and it also plays the, the bloody music constantly and it's fucking freaky as hell, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, 
if you've not seen Annabelle Creation, it's a definitely good horror film. I'm not going to give too much about the, the um, but about the film itself. Um, it's directed by it was directed by David F. Sandberg and it was produced by the one and only um, what's his name now? Um, James Wan. It was produced by James Wan. He didn't actually direct the film. He produced it. He's actually a producer of it. Um, he actually wrote. James Wan wrote The Conjuring and the the Conjuring films. He wrote The Conjuring films and the um, Insidious films as well. So he's actually, and also he wrote, he actually did a, um, a new film that I watched in cinemas which is called Lights Out. I don't know why everyone's seen it. It's a bit, it's alright, it's an alright film but the ending is absolutely terrible and you wouldn't think the ending actually would have happened um, but the ending's a bit shit in Lights Out but he did that film Lights Out which is a new film so James Wan is, James Wan's a brilliant director um, he's kind of like, I think he's Japanese or Chinese, one of the two um, he kind of he kind of reminds me a bit of um, Cindy McCarmy a bit just in appearance um, obviously, I'll show you a picture of him, actually. He's a brilliant director. He's, like, my favourite director of all time, James Wan, because he's wrote all these, like, horror films, and I've watched them as well. He's a producer, but he's also a director as well. He's not just a producer, he's a director as well. Um, I'm trying to find what you know. The real him. I think my, I think this is James Wan. That's what James Wan looks like. Um, there's another one where he's wearing glasses. I think it's this one. Where he's talking about Conjuring Two. Um, and I've seen Conjuring Two as well. That's another good film of his. Um, I saw that in cinemas as well, when you're into a brilliant film. They're all brilliant. His films are all brilliant. Um, the only one I was disappointed in was um, Light Out. So, so that's one of my favourite films, Annabelle Creation. It's a horror film. Um, I have spoke about the Annabelle story behind it because it's based upon that anyway. Because actually at the end of the film, and actually I want to... Keep your mouth shut, fine. Don't ruin it. Anyway, um, my next favourite film of all time, and this will be my last ever favourite film because this video has gone on too long. Um, my last ever favourite film would have to be... Um, I'm trying to think now. Would have to be Batman. Batman the Dark Knight. Um, Batman The Dark Knight is a frigging masterpiece of at work. Um, the director, Christopher Nolan, I think. Am I right with that? Yeah. Um, the director, Christopher Nolan, who, or who wrote the film, is a brilliant director of all time and Batman the Dark Knight was a brilliant film. I loved every single like actor in that. You've got Christian Bale as Batman. You have Heath Ledger, the one and only Heath Ledger who plays the Joker. And I have to say that Heath Ledger played the Joker very well. And I do miss him as the Joker because he was brilliant. He didn't last very long because he kind of died, um, if I'm honest. But I do miss him. He was a brilliant actor. Um, he plays the Joker very well. I did like the Jack Nicholson Joker as well, but he wasn't as crazy as Heath Ledger, in my opinion. And I think I've spoken about this on a video once. Um, but there's also the Batman, the Dark Knight Rises. In. I've not seen that, but I don't think it's as good as the Dark Knight. 
Um, but yeah, The Dark Knight is an absolute masterpiece at work. I love the music in the film as well, and I love every inch of the film. Um, so that would be one of my favourite films of all time too. Um, and obviously Morgan Freeman is in that is in The Dark Knight, and he's a brilliant like actor. He's been in everything. I just love Morgan Freeman's voice. It's got a very ASMR like voice. If he ever did ASMR, I would totally watch him all the time. He's got like an amazing voice. Morgan Freeman is very relaxing. Um, obviously, I like Christian Bale. He's a good actor. Um, he plays Batman. He's actually the best ever Batman, in my opinion. I do, I did like Christian Bale, and I also liked Val Kilmer's Batman as well. He was a good at Batman, in my opinion. But some of the old Batmans weren't as good, really, in my opinion. Um, Val Kilmer was good, and uh, Christian Bale was good. Um, so that's pretty much all of my favourite films I've mentioned there in all in one video. Obviously, hopefully, you've enjoyed this video very much. Um, hopefully, I haven't bored you as much. If you have a favourite film of all time, um, that you would like to talk about or if you have a favourite film that or you agree with all these films that I've mentioned let me know in the comments down below and also if you have a favourite film that I haven't mentioned in this video please let me know in the comments down below I'd really love to hear from my viewers and love to hear what their favourite films are um, and I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday today guys it's obviously Tuesday today, it's still warm over here in the UK, so I apologise if I'm sweating really bad. I don't look like I'm sweating, I look fine to be honest. Um, but I just can't have my fan on in the video because it kind of like um, makes too much noise in the background and I don't like background noise. I had background noise in my last video yesterday and I was actually pretty annoyed. Um, obviously my apologies if I haven't been streaming the last few days but... I've, I've told everyone in my last video I won't be streaming now until Friday because my special friend Jack Music Man is away in Brighton for a few days um, he will be in Brighton today, tomorrow and Thursday and he won't be back until Friday so I've decided when he's back on the Friday to stream on the Friday um, and I should be streaming my Slender the Arrival game a horror game that I've been playing that I was playing like last Friday so hopefully you can all join um, that on Friday um, because Jeff will be back with me and he can come on a headset and talk to me then because I don't want to stream on my own because I'll be on headset on my own and he can watch me but um, he's not guaranteed to come on a headset with me and I have no one to come on a headset with me if I'm honest so I'll be on my own. I've been on my own for the past few weeks since he's been away so Please respect my decision to not stream these next few days. Obviously, um, I'm trying to put out videos out each day that I'm here. Um, I do miss Jeff, obviously. Um, Jeff is doing very well over in Brighton, by the way, if anyone's asking. He's having probably a fun time with me. Um, obviously, I'll be definitely streaming Friday, though, so stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for any other videos that I decide to post. Um, please like this video if you like this video, and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe as always. And in the meantime, guys, have a fantastic day, and I will see you all very soon. Enjoy your day, guys.